Okay, so you see one question. So here I have written one question. Resistance of a conductivity cell filled with 0.1 mole liter inverse KCL is 100 ohm. If the resistance of the same cell when filled with 0.02 mole liter inverse KCL solution, this is 520 ohm. Calculate the conductivity and molar conductivity of this. Clear? So you see how can you solve? So question is a little bit long, but answer is very easy. Only formula you check what are the data given. So first is concentration given. Suppose C1 is 0.1 mole liter inverse. So at this concentration, what is the resistance? So R1 is 100 ohm. Clear? Or in this form, what do you write? R1 equals to 100 ohm. Clear? Then when concentration changes to C2 is 0.02 mole liter inverse, what is the resistance? So resistance equals to 520 ohm. And the conductivity of 0.01 mole, so its conductivity means its kappa is 1.29 sine meter inverse. Question is calculate its what the conductivity, calculate the conductivity and molar conductivity means what is the value of kappa 2, what is the value of lambda m for this question. Got the idea? So here you see. So C1 given, R1 given, kappa 1 given. And just now we have read concentration changes, resistance changes, kappa value changes, but G star value remains same. So what will be G star? So its G star equals to R1 into kappa 1. So it is 100 into 1.29. It's G star. So its G star, its G star same. Because same, same, only concentration changes. So here how can you calculate? So its G star equals to R2 into what? Kappa 2. Okay. So question is find the kappa 2. So kappa 2 equals to G star divided by R2. So put the value. Then after calculation of kappa 2, question is lambda m. So lambda m equals to kappa by C. Okay. So in this part, but you see this question is 3 mark question. So that's why. In the electrochemistry, especially in this format, when questions are coming means, first only you will check which data are given, concentration, resistance, conductance or conductivity value given, we have to calculate the G star, G star for both the concentration and G star value remain same, okay, so only resistance and conductivity changes, so you can solve this method, okay, clear, check this. Clear? Then another type of question that electrical resistance of a column of 0.05 mole liter inverse NOH solution of diameter 1 cm and length 50 cm is given. Calculate its everything means calculate its rho, kappa and lambda m means resistivity, conductivity and molar conductivity. Clear? So how can you solve? So you see, so its answer, so its answer, first concentration given, the concentration is 0.05 mole liter inverse, mole liter inverse, concentration given, diameter given, mean D equals to 1 centimeter. So if diameter given, we can calculate the radius. Radius equals to diameter by 2. So 1 by 2 equals to 0 0.5 centimeter. Okay. Length given. L given. How much? 50 centimeter. So if a column means, so what is its area? Area you know, area equals to pi r square formula. Okay. So r value given, you calculate area. After calculating area, then what is other data given? R given. R is 5.55 into 10 to the power 3 ohm. Clear? Question is first calculate rho. So rho equals to, we know, R equals to rho into L by A. Rho equals to R into 
a by n everything given a given a given r given so we can calculate rho the next is upper calculation of rho kappa kappa you know kappa equals to 1 by rho so put this data we can calculate kappa then lambda n so lambda n equals to only you have to check whether the units are in cgs unit because the distance is centimeter this part it means direct lambda n equals to kappa into thousand divided by c so that's why these are three mark question okay so here you see answer may different answer may vary because why you see first only you have to calculate area so if your area is little bit wrong everything is wrong so that's why in this method everybody always will check but in method you have solved formula is correct or not and main thing is its si unit so units are correct or not okay answer may be little bit different clear because it depends on first area if area different r different rho different kappa different lambda m different so that's why formula you remember put the data with their usuals what a unit unit is very 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 important especially in this part clear now so these are the water terms definitions numericals from the conductivity its measurement r rho g kappa g star and lambda so up to this part we have completed okay So welcome student this is the another class of electrochemistry so in this class we will read variation of conductivity and molar conductivity with concentration so we know lambda m equals to kappa by c this is mathematical formula yes or no so in this formula also we have solved the numerical and this is the theoretical formula lambda m equals to kappa into a by n so this formula we are not using It's only theoretical formula, but this is the mathematical formula. So here you see our heading is variation of conductivity and molar conductivity, kappa and lambda m with concentration. So first you see, first you see kappa sir. So when concentration increases, when concentration increases, kappa increases. So when concentration increases kappa increases why because number of ions per unit volume increases okay so when concentration increases kappa value increases similarly when concentration decreases kappa value also decreases or we can say when dilution increases kappa value decreases but you see how it changes with lambda m you see so when concentration increases lambda m value decreases because concentration is here but you see when concentration increases kappa value also increases so when c increases kappa increases but actually kappa what are not increases but very less so that's why when concentration increases net lambda m value what are decreases clear now similarly when concentration decreases that means when dilution increases conductivity value also decreases and lambda m value what increases so here lambda m value increases remember three part concentration increases conductivity increases molar conductivity decreases concentration decreases or dilution increases conductivity decreases molar conductivity increases clear now now in this theoretical formula you see i am explaining one thing lambda m equals to kappa into a by n suppose if we multiply kappa into a into l by l square okay so a into l is volume so we can write kappa into v per length suppose you have taken unit so here we can write lambda m equals to kappa into v 
okay so you see now you compare so when volume increases volume increases means concentration decreases so where concentration decreases kappa value also decreases so here you see so when volume increases this value decreases but net lambda m value increases so that's why when volume increases the decrease in k value is compensated by more increase the volume increase in volume v got the idea again so when volume increases kappa value decreases so whatever kappa value decreases that thing can be water accompanied by more increase in volume v that's why net lambda value always increases so that's why in dilution in dilution concentration water decreases conductivity decreases molar conductivity increases both for strong and weak electrolyte both for strong and weak electrolyte clear now so this is the meaning of lambda m now see what is the meaning of limiting molar conductivity what is the meaning of limiting molar conductivity symbol is lambda m not so limiting molar conductivity first you see one example suppose in this bottle we will take 1 liter water clear add suppose 1 mole nacl so 1 mole nacl how much 58.5 gram so take 1 liter water add 58.5 gram nacl okay and then stir it now this is the solution so in this solution we can calculate its conductivity and molar conductivity by which by conductivity same now so inside this how much gram of nacl is present 58.5 gram that means one mole one mole na plus one mole cl minus now same one liter solution now you convert into 10,000 liter water so in the 10,000 liter water can you say that the amount of sodium chloride is zero no same 58.5 gram of nacl is present okay but amount of solvent is very large as comparison to the amount of solute so in that case if you calculate the molar conductivity this is called limiting molar conductivity so when we can say the molar conductivity yes or no when the concentration approaches to zero but concentration is not zero because nsl is present concentration is not water here uh, zero so when concentration approaches to zero zero molar conductivity is known as limiting molar conductivity and this is called the symbol lambda m not clear now so when concentration approaches to zero molar conductivity is known as limiting molar conductivity clear so this is for both strong and weak electrolyte so this concept was explained clearly by three scientists that is d by hockel on sagar so from this one equation is coming d by hockel d by hockel on sagar equation d by hockel on Sager equation S A G E R. Okay, on Sager equation, the equation is lambda m equals to lambda m naught minus a into root over of c. What is lambda m? So lambda m is molar conductivity. Lambda m naught is limiting molar conductivity. A is a constant. It depends on the nature of electrolyte, and c is the concentration. Clear? So here. It is like a straight line equation y equals to mx plus c format. So, for strong and weak electrolyte, you see now if you plot one graph, this is lambda m, this is root over of c. Okay, so experimentally it has been seen that if you plot the graph for strong electrolyte, the graph is like this, and for weak electrolyte, the graph is like this. Suppose this electrolyte is KCl strong and this electrolyte is acetic acid, hence weak electrolyte. Clear now? 
so now we will explain you see first from left to right second from right to left so left to right when left to right it will explain concentration increases right to left means dilution increases clear suppose first we will check first we will check you see suppose right to left right to left means for dilution dilution means concentration decreases so you see so where concentration decreases both for strong and weak electrolyte yes or no strong electrolyte you see when concentration decreases molar conductivity increases very slowly but weak electrolyte you see molar conductivity increases but at one point it increases very sharply got the idea similarly if you will explain from left to right left to right means what concentration concentration increases left to right concentration increases so where concentration increases molar conductivity decreases both for strong and both for weak electrolyte but for strong electrolyte it decreases slowly weak electrolyte decreases also at one point very sharply so why actually like this actually it happens clear now come to for strong electrolyte okay strong electrolyte left to right blue color so in left to right for strong electrolyte you see there is a small increase in lambda m with dilution at higher concentration sorry dilution i am telling this part left to right concentration so at higher concentration at a higher concentration mean when concentration increases you know kcl is a strong electrolyte so due to greater inter ionic attraction the mobility of iron decreases due to greater greater ionic interaction the mobility of iron decreases hence lambda ion value decreases very slowly for whom left to right for strong electrolyte okay similarly right to left for strong electrolyte so right to left means for a small increase in lambda m with dilution because strong electrolyte is completely dissociated and the number of ions always remains constant so when you see when concentration decreases means total number of ions remain constant so that's why lambda m value what changes but very slowly got the idea so left to right concentration increases yes or no so due to more number of ions due to greater inter ionic what attraction cation anion the ionic mobility is less so that's why what it decreases very slowly but from right to left right to left for strong electrolyte in a dilution total number of ions i give the example of sodium chloride so total number of ions remain constant thus it increases very slowly but come to weak electrolyte both left to right and right to left when concentration decreases or when concentration increases we know weak electrolyte dissociates partially so that's why you see suppose this part left to right when concentration increases so suppose if you take water add acetic acid okay and add sodium chloride so if you take water add sodium chloride within a fraction of taking second yes or no sodium chloride or potassium chloride it split into k plus and c minus but if you take acetic acid it takes some time so that's why you see from this point to this point with increase in concentration lambda and value water does not change okay so when ion produced then only water lambda and value changes remember this part clear so now come to the equation so this is our equation y equals to mx plus c so it is a straight line equation but you see non for strong and weak electrolyte y intercept that in lambda m not we cannot calculate we cannot calculate but you see suppose if you will extrapolate this graph extrapolate means if you will extend back then it is possible to calculate lambda m not for strong electrolyte but it is not possible for weak electrolyte why it meets the y axis at infinite 
okay and you see when it meets the y axis means here means what is the value of concentration zero but we know concentration never zero so that's why from the by hockel onsager equation lambda m not value for strong electrolyte it is possible only to extrapolate the graph so that we can what take the variable y intercept lambda m not and slope is a but for weak electrolyte for weak electrolyte it is not possible from the by hockel onsager equation to calculate the lambda m not value so that's why question is coming now sir how lambda m not is calculated for weak electrolyte so lambda m not for weak electrolyte can be calculated by next concept is by kolharz rule by kolharz rule so in by kolharz rule we can calculate the lambda m not both for strong and weak electrolyte okay but in this part problem is for strong electrolyte it can be calculated but for weak electrolyte it cannot be calculated clear now so this is called the dy hockel onsager for strong and weak electrolyte how which type of questions are coming so question in the exam graph will come in place of kcl and acetic acid ab will be given question will ask identify ab second explain why explain why when dilution increases when dilution increases why strong electrolyte lambda m value increases slowly weak electrolyte increases sharply at one point because strong electrolyte due to interionic attraction mobility of ion decreases yes or no so remember this part so left to right right to left will check this okay